If you find it hard to manage multiple terminal sessions and your screen looks disorganized, then this video is for you. We are going to be learning about Tmux. Tmux is a terminal multiplexer, which means it allows you to manage multiple terminal sessions from a single window. Other than managing multiple terminal sessions, one of the standard feature of Tmux is session persistence. If your connection to the remote server drops or you close your terminal, your Tmux session continues running in the background. So this is a very useful tool if you're a Linux user. So without further ado, let's see how we can use Tmux. I'm in my Kali Linux right now, but Tmux is available in every major Linux distribution. If Tmux is already not installed in your system, then type the command sudo apt install tmux and press enter and tmux will be installed in your system. I already have tmux installed. After you have tmux installed, you can start tmux with the command tmux and press enter and now tmux has started. Right now, what we have here is a window. In the bottom of the screen, I can see the labeling of the window. So this is window 0, the next one will be window 1, then 2 and so on. Then I can see the name of the window. The name of this window by default is ZSH. I will show you later how to change the name of the window and the asterisk mark tells us which window we are in. Inside each of the window, you can create multiple panes. Now you can create panes vertically or horizontally. If you want to create a vertical pane, meaning that the panes will be side by side, then press Ctrl plus B at the same time in your keyboard and release it and then simply press the percentage symbol and as you can see, a vertical pane is created. You can switch between the panes. Right now I'm in the right pane. So in order to switch to the left pane, I will press Ctrl plus B at the same time in my keyboard, release it, and then press the left arrow key in my keyboard. And as you can see, I'm in the left pane. Now we have two terminals to work on. I can type a command in the left pane, and I can also use the right pane at the same time. And now if I want to move to the right pane, I will press Ctrl plus B at the same time in my keyboard and press the right arrow key. And as you can see, I'm in the right pane right now. I can also work on this terminal. You can divide the terminal as many times as you want. Now let's divide the right pane horizontally. So type Ctrl plus B at the same time in your keyboard, release it and press the apostrophe sign and it has divided horizontally. You can divide the terminal as many times as you want, whether you want horizontally or vertically. And if you want to quit any of the terminal, just type exit and press enter. And as you can see, the terminal is closing. So this is how you manage your panes. Now let's talk about windows. In the bottom of the screen, I can see that I'm using window 0. If I want to open a new window, I would press Ctrl plus B at the same time in my keyboard, release it and press C and I can see a new window has been created. I can create as many windows as I want. I will press Ctrl plus B at the same time in my keyboard again, release it and press C and I can see window 2 has been created. Now if I want to jump to window 0, then I would press Ctrl plus B at the same time in my keyboard, release it and type 0 since it is labeled as 0. And I can see I'm back in my window 0. And if I want to move to window 2, I would press Ctrl plus B at the same time in my keyboard, release it and press 2. And I can see I'm back in my window 2. If I want to rename my window, in this case it is default as ZSH, then I would type Ctrl plus B at the same time in my keyboard, release it and press comma. And now I can rename the window. I will call it Metasploit and press enter. And I can see window 2 has been renamed. And if I want to close this window, I can type exit and this window would be closed. Now let's talk about sessions, which is the true power of Tmux. If for some reason the connection drops off or your terminal gets closed, Tmux will keep running on the background. I will show you with an example. I'm now going to detach my current session. So I will press Ctrl plus B at the same time in my keyboard, release it and press D. And you can see the session has been detached. If I type Tmux space ls and press enter, I can see the list of the available sessions. Currently I have only one session and by default it is named 0 and I have two windows running in this session. I can also create a new session. To create a new session type the command tmux space new space dash s space the name of the session that you want to create. You can call it anything you want. I will call it bob and press enter. And as you can see I'm in the session bob right now. I will detach from this session and if I give tmux space ls again I can see two sessions. I can also reattach to the previous session with the command tmux attach dash t space the name of the session that you want to reattach to. I will reattach myself to 0 so I'll type 0 and press enter and I can see the process was running in the background. I will detach myself again and suppose if you want to rename the session 0 to something else then type the command tmux space rename dash session space dash t 
space the previous name of the session which is zero in this case space the name of the new session i will call it ls and press enter and if i give t marks space ls again i can see zero has been changed to ls and finally if you want to completely remove a session then type the command t marks space kill dash session space dash t for target session and the name of your session i will kill ls and press enter and if i do t marks space ls i can see ls has been completely removed so this is how you use Tmux. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.